What's up, what's up, it's your boy Talentino and today I got something really exciting, really extraordinary for you guys. I hope you're ready for this. You see who's sitting to my left and I'm gonna introduce you to somebody very beautiful, very positive, new to the entertainment, but a huge star, the girl, Taina. What's up, Taina? Nothing much, how you doing? I see you, you got somebody very special, very important to the whole entire music industry, mm -hmm. guiding you, protecting you. Who's this man right here? Who's this legend next to me? Are you kidding? That's Joe Jackson. How you doing, Mr. Jackson? I'm fine, thank you. Wow. Yes. How did you find this beautiful young lady, and what inspired you to grab this and, and push her career? I think she found me, yes. <laughs> you think it was a sort of faith? Yeah, I think so, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to ask her a couple of questions, get to know her so that people can see who she is. Um, tell me, how long have you been doing music? All my life. I started at church since I was little, and uh, here I am, you know, still pushing. Do you write music? Or yes, do, you've been writing since you was a kid? Yeah, well, I started writing. I co-write. I've co-wrote a lot of my songs. Co-written, sorry. Right. Co-written a lot of my songs, and I co-produced a couple of my tracks, too. So. Tell me a little bit about the day you met Mr. Joe Jackson. And how did you feel that day, and how did it all happen? Because we all trying to get to that you know, place, and then you got well, found. The way it happened was like, it was amazing, because I was at another concert. And um, his bodyguard actually saw me. I was crying because this girl was singing a Christian song, and I was touched. Okay. And he walked up to me. He's like, don't cry. You know, everything's fine. And I said, no, 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 I'm just touched by the song because it's a Christian song. He goes, what are you doing here? Um, and I said, I'm here part of the back, I'm backstage with Ashford and Simpson. Right. And he's like, what are you doing with them? And I told him that I sing and, and stuff like that. And he asked for my demo, and he got it to Joe. And it took off from there. Okay, Joe, let's talk about that day when you secretly was in the audience and she didn't know you were there. How, what from her told you this one could be another superstar? Well, let's begin with this one here. And this is the one that I remember the most. Taina was fixing to perform that night. Okay. And so she thought I was in Las Vegas. And I called her and wished her a great show, you know from Las Vegas. Right. Well, I wasn't in Las Vegas. Right. I was right there, right, right. Right at, but I don't know, about two or three hundred yards from where she was performing. And so she went up and did her show, you know, but she didn't, still didn't know I was there because I had eased down in the front and wow. took the front seat, you know, and by those bright lights shining in her eyes as if she couldn't tell it was me. Wow. So after she finished doing her performance, that's when the lights sort of like lighten up a little bit, right. and she spotted me. And that's when she started hollering. Wow. <laughs> wow! So did you did you see did you see him at that moment? And did not see Joe until I was walking off stage, wow. and then I, you know, because the lights are so bright, so I could see like an image, but I had no idea it was him. Right. And he had his hat on, and he's sitting like this, so I couldn't. I had no idea until I was walking off. And then somebody from behind the curtain said, look at the person in front. And I did like this. And I, that, that was it. I was like, ah! <laughs> on stage, I started to scream, Miss Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's, and then that was it. It just, from amazing. there, he said, I like your show. And we, we had signed with Joe. And what what is the best connection that you feel with Mr. Jackson? Because you, you, I mean, if he's found you, and you seem to be a great artist, because, you know, he has worked with, let's say, the best and the greatest artist of all time, his son, Michael Jackson. So how, like, fortunate do you feel? And, I mean, how fortunate do you feel that both of you guys have now found each other and are able to start this new career and launch a new beautiful Latin star? And also, you're going to be R&B and pop and everything. You're doing everything. And we need all you guys to know out there, she's, she's Latina, but she's going to get every market. We're going to do the tour worldwide, from the United States, Europe. Latin, Europe. So get ready to, you know follow her around the entire world. But how do you feel about that connection to get the best man who has, and I don't even, Michael Jackson put the Jackson 5, Janet Jackson, the whole entire, you know, this is this is huge here. This is huge here. So let's really say that out there so people can understand what this interview is about. Tell me a little bit about that connection. Well, I feel very blessed. I mean, I, I, I always pray, and I pray to God. I'm like, you know what? It's a tough market. It's a tough industry. And I said, you know, you're, you're in my, I put God in charge. And I feel that he's the one that connected me to Joe. I said, you know, 
You jo 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 could be your angel. He's your angel. He's your angel. And I got Joe Jackson. The yeah, best. The best possible man. You said it. You said it right. The best possible man. That's, right. That's beautiful. Joe, let me ask you a couple of questions. I know you guys got to go and everything. But um, real quick, uh, marketing-wise, what is you? What did you see now marketing-wise? Because she's Latina, and um, it's, I haven't really seen the crossover with Latinas, you know, too much. But you must see something that's going to happen with her. Yeah, well, I do because uh, I've always had the saying that if an artist listen to you and uh, sort of like uh, be willing to work with you on what she's trying to do and to market her, you can get a lot of things done because um, she, and she's been out there performing different places and that. But when I was putting Janet on the spot there, I mean, getting her ready, I didn't let her go out until she had she ready, until she was ready. Wow. And then uh, when she went out, she was starting the show. She didn't have to go open up for nobody. Right, right. And same way to the Jacksons. So I'm trying to take her in the same direction. Wow, like but she's gonna, she's gonna start before all of that other stuff. You know, she's right, gonna right. be out there probably opening up for some large entertainers and stuff like that. That's the first plan. That's the first plan. Are you are you do you want to do the um go mainstream and and Latin? Do you do you want her to write yeah, Latin music yeah, too? We're gonna do that. We're gonna have something and everything. You know, so we're gonna go all kind of directions. So this is a bigger project for you than all the ones you've done already. Every time I've tried something like this, so I think. It'll and I know you're a very determined man. So who knows what's gonna happen, Tiana? I'm glad to meet you today because I don't know. I might never see you again. <laughs> it might very be hard to get you later on, but um. If there's something that you can tell everybody out there to expect from you in the next uh, year or in the next couple of months, um, what was something really strong that you believe that they can know your name, Taina? First of all, Taina is like, it reminds me of Taina Indian, so we know that right. comes from a natural Latina. Right. So, um, uh, what is, are you Puerto Rican? Puerto Rican. Yeah. So, is that your real name, yes. Taina? Yes, so it's Taina, and you can find me on Taina, I mean, myspace.com, Taina Music. You can listen to a couple of my songs there. We haven't started with the music, the Spanish music, but we're going to get started right away on that, so. You got time. You're going to take over the world, so don't worry. Just Today was the first day, and no, nobody but emerging artists got the first exclusive, exclusive interview with Taina. We're glad. We you know we've been seeing you. They've taken pictures, but now we got to speak to you, let the world know who you are and who you're working with, and this is great. Um, I'm glad I got some time to sit with you guys. Um, I'll see you in my radio station Tuesday, and we're going to have a full you know, two-hour show on just on you, and thank you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure also. There you have it, Emerging Artists USA, your boy Talentino from Urban Latino Radio, hanging out with my crew, Emerging Artists USA. Thanks to Jerry and Maria and Ray.